from the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, the lighthearted podcast for learners of English. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Ropecast. I'm Peter Tischer, and I'm not alone, but I'm not with Roger Charlton today. I have a guest here. With me is Bobby Pernice. You might think it's a man. No, it's a woman. Hello, Bobby. Hi, Peter. Glad to have you here. Thanks. The reason why Bobby is here today is because mainly she's a mother. Aha, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> and um, we are going to talk about baby talk. There are even, did you know, Bobby, that there are official names for baby talk? The way you speak to children. There's even an official linguistic term, child-directed speech. Child-directed speech, okay. Child yeah, I've heard things speech. like mother talk, mother talk, parent talk, trying parent to talk. be slightly I've, more... I've read mother -ries also. Ah, mother -ries. okay. Okay, so, and I don't know the first thing about it because I speak German to my kids. Was that ever a question whether you'd speak any other language than your own mother tongue to your children? Absolutely not. Why not? No, no. Well, because, I mean, my husband and I decided early on that we would raise our kids bilingually, and we decided that the best line for us to take was everyone stick completely consistently to their own language. Uh -huh. And in fact, this is not quite on the topic of baby talk, but my, my older daughter it was very striking by the time she was... 10 months old or so, if we would sit at table and have a meal, she would turn her head toward me mm -hmm. and say maybe her one or two words in English mm -hmm. and turn her head toward her dad and say her one or two words in German from the beginning. Uh, so, and did she say, what did she say to the dad? Did she say Fati or, or Papa. Dad? Papa. 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 Mm -hmm. That's a little bit closer to what you might say in English, Papa. Sure. Or, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But usually kids say Daddy, right? Well, I think every family has their own arrangements, but daddy's common with uh, Americans. That's and what do your daughters call you? Um, mama. Mama? Sometimes mom. Uh-huh. Yeah, never mommy. When they were never little, mom. they were always, it was always mama. Even mm -hmm. when they were little? Yes. But am I right? Usually when the children are very little, usually you, you tell them it's mommy, and once they get older, it's mom? Again, among Americans, it does vary a little bit. Mommy's the most common, but there are certainly families that use mama. Ah, okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Are there other names for relatives for little children? Like the sister? We don't have anything in German for that. For relatives. S um, the sister? Yeah, for the sister. For the sister, sissy uh -huh. is common. Brother, nothing's really coming into my mind. And aunts and uncles, this kind of thing. Yeah. Auntie is Auntie. common. Okay. Uncle doesn't really lend itself to a diminutive somehow. Oh, what uh, about grandparents? Ah, there's a lot of variation with that. Grandma, grandpa is very right. common. Yeah. Sometimes grandmother, grandfather, nana. Nana. Nana and poppy for okay. grandmother, grandfather. Ah, yes. So you'd have to be careful. It's Papa for, for the, the father, dad, but, yeah. but Poppy for Poppy the granddad. Poppy for the granddad. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, you hear it sometimes. So it's difficult vocabulary then. Yes, I think so. In a way. Yeah. And the families tend to find their own arrangements very often for that kind of thing. Did you find any own arrangements in your family, or did you stick with the regular expressions? Pretty standard, Grandma, for, Grandpa. But uh, for the German grandparents, um, we always said Oma, Opa, even when we were speaking English. We did take over those terms, ah, okay. because they're proper names, somehow. So I didn't feel like we were breaking the rule. Ah, okay. You know? Yeah, that, that, that does make sense, and you can differentiate between yes. one pair and the other. <laughs> then you don't have to that's, say that's the German can... grandma, the American grandma. That's Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the interest. I mean, you can't find these things in any dictionary, which is why we're doing no, podcasts probably, on Probably on in some, you know, PhD um, Yeah, but it's really hard to find. Someplace. Yeah, right. yeah, right. There are dissertations done on these I'm things. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, let's turn to something else, food. Ah, Are there mm -hmm. any food expressions? First of all, what do you say to a little child when they have to eat? We have German terms. Hapa, hapa machen. Oh, uh, really? I don't yeah. think I've ever heard that in German. So, um, no, nothing no, particular. Nothing with, no. I, I know I, I've read a term on the internet, yum yum. Ah, yum yum for very tiny babies, maybe, uh -huh. but we didn't use anything particular. Uh -huh. in that direction. Okay. And for drink, nothing uh, special no. or for the or the bottles? Do they have any names? Yeah. P 
people who use bottles, I think you often hear baba uh -huh. or baba often. Uh -huh. Yeah, That's baba. That's the, the, the bottle that, that you're drinking? Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Baba. And these, um, I think in, in our family, for these little cups that young children use that have a kind of a, a schnabeltasse, I think ah, they're okay, the, the ones that have a little well, beak coming out of it, I guess. That's right. Yeah, they have a little beak. I think we, we call that a sippy cup. A sippy cup? A sippy ah, cup. Because you sip <laughs> from exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It seems to me like a lot of diminutives yeah. go out on, on an E yeah. as a sound. Yeah, that's right. So daddy, mommy, sure. yep. sippy cup. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think all, also the animals go that way. Yes, of course. Kitty, doggy. Even yeah. horsey. Right? Horsey, of Horsey. course, yes, that's right. Uh huh. Because yeah. Germans tend to do the sound. The, the, vow, vow. A vow, vow. Yeah. What about cat? A cat might be a meets meets. I don't really ah, know whether to meet, meow really meetsy, sounds like meets meets. Hmm. Okay. And one thing I think is the same in German as it is in English is muku, a mukau. I think you have that. Yeah, mukau. I think there's an old children's poem from the 19th century even called the Muli cow the Muli cow the Muli cow i think i could find that for you even ah okay yeah. maybe we can talk about these nursery rhymes on some other roadcast that would be fun okay yeah, yeah let's do that and call mm -hmm. it a day for today mm -hmm. okay okay bye folks you've been listening to ropecast brought to you by Saarland University featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.